so welcome to day three and our last day and we're just heading up to the locks at Coltishaw on a beautiful sunny Sunday morning and uh, I'm just cooking some bacon sausages in the oven because that's a new way I've found out to cook them even the bacon but also because the boat hasn't got a frying pan which is quite a admission not to have on a boat I can deal with can openers, we know this, the handy screwdriver. But a frying pan, that's a first not to have on a boat. So um, we're, we're making do. Uh, it's slightly changed what I'm going to be cooking later. Um, and I'm sure I could ring Richardson's and say, I'm in rocks and we haven't got a frying pan. And they'd say, oh, sorry. Although I think they do leave on their slip before you leave the boatyard, once you've had your trial run, do check if you need any extra beddings or stuff in the galley. So um, they might have that as a get out of jail free card. <laughs> I didn't check. However, um, I'm not driving the boat as you can tell. That's because Sheila is. And uh, no, she hasn't got a phobia of the steering wheel, but she's just moisturized her hands and she doesn't want to get all the moisturizer on the, the wheel and make it slippery. <laughs> And you also note she's in her gym wear because she's done her T25 this morning in the saloon. <laughs> but this is, sorry about this, um, we're going to go outside, there's going to be noise of the wind. But this is um, the River Bure, this is past the rising sun, so you're not going back down towards Roxham. And this is really nice, it all comes in narrow, it's shallows. And it's like, wow, it's a quiet little backwater. And you just follow it all the way to the locks. Quite a tight turning space at the locks, but doable. If you're gonna moor there, you can, but you need your rond anchors. And once you've moored there, there's a great pub, the recruiting sergeant, that's uh, an easy walk. So what a lovely Sunday morning. Now clear Jim in front of us um, is backing up. I think they, they tried to turn the boat outside the rising sun. It's a bit breezy today and I think they thought they'd come up here to, to, to try and turn and then realised ah, oh, it gets a bit more narrow. It's a bit like me seeing you turning on a road and then en ending up on a narrow and classified road. But they're doing well. I'm not sure if they're dragging their mud weight but if they are I'll tell them when we get up there. You take a few revs off, Sheila. I think I better go and uh, help Sheila. Okay, into neutral. Burst of a stern. Back into neutral. That's still a stern. There you go. Did a great job, okay. Now back into forward. That's it. Start turning to your right. Oh, yeah. Qu yeah, quite aggressively. Really? That's it, yeah. I didn't do it. Because you're so doing really well. well. I know. There you go, you am see. I, am I going to turn around too? No, no, we're carrying on. And there's a kayak coming towards us now. Yeah, we've got lots of space now. Okay, I'm gonna go. Morning, and, I'm gonna go and check on the sausages and bacon. Oh no 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 no! Don't leave me alone. No, it's all right. I'm only gonna be there. Mm -hmm. I'm only gonna be there. Don't leave me alone. And I think you can use your hands on the steering wheel now. I think they're yeah. probably dried off. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> 
So what you're looking at here is one of the most beautiful scenes on the Norfolk Broads. This is the end of the navigation on the River Bure. It's Coltish Shore Lock. And if you headed back down that way, you would come to the rising sun at Coltishaw Common and then continue down, of course, to Wroxham. This is the bank holiday weekend. And as you can see, we are the only ones here. You have to use your own bankers, obviously. It is um, a rough bank, but um, there's good depth here despite, you know, it's perception that you're going to go ground when you come into more. And Sheila and I are going to have a little stroll up the path there over the, the original lock that you can see there. And then there's some wood, wooded walk and you come to the main road, which you might be able to just see the cars going across here. If you go to that main road, do a left, walk along the road, you'll come to a pub called the Recruiting Sergeant. and it is the most, I don't know if you can just hear all that bird song. It's beautiful. And I, I'm not saying, you know, everybody charge up here, but very few people do. We were following Clear Gem and um, they came up halfway and turned round. And I think people think they can't come up here, but you can. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Um, this is one of those you've been frame moments where I say I don't know if you'll be able to see and then promptly fall into the water. But you can see right through down to the bottom here. And it was here in last October that one of our crew of Lads Week caught an absolutely huge bream, I think it was. It might have been a perch, I can't remember, but it was massive. And here you can turn your boat. <laughs> Just nearly went into a pothole then. <laughs> Depends on the length of the boat, how confident you are. Um, usually it's easier to turn a boat on the ropes. There's also a wider bit there. Um, and I just heard the whistle, I suppose that's the Bure Valley Railway, the, the steam railway with a locomotive whistle. So what we're coming up to now is the former mill, Horsted Mill. Go and uh, have a look on Google, it's very interesting because um, you can learn about it. But basically this used to be a huge structure all up here and it had, it was a um, powered by water and this is where the original sort of wheel one and wheel two would have been there as the water flows through and it burnt down and when it had burnt down that was the end of it kind of thing but this basically is where the mill was we're going to go and look at where the lock is and so the viewer would have continued, indeed it obviously does continue, this is coming from the source of the viewer. But the only way you can navigate further upstream now is via sort of a kayak. And there's a portage that you can take your kayak around and down again. But again, I did just look briefly on Google, um, just to get some basic facts, but um, it's Horsted Water Mill, that's H-O-R-S-T-E-A-D, Water Mill. Very interesting reading about this. Sheila's doing two things at once today. She's doing her exercising and she's doing her photography. And I'm tempted to get the camera above this for the... the Hello, yes, just talking about you, for the for future blogs because um, it's actually, believe it or not, lighter weight than the one I'm holding at the moment, mainly because it's plastic and this is part of a metal construction, this camera. But it's absolutely beautiful here. So here you can bring your kayak up, 
round over the lock and there's a similar one on the other side and um, I can't remember the story of this lock I know that the lock at uh, Gilderston hello <laughs> not yet <laughs> yeah a few times yeah you often get the grey wagtails right well actually People think they're the yellow wet wag tail, but there's a yellow wag tail, but one over here is usually it's grey but there's some yellow on its body but they're always around the mill there and there is a kingfisher that often comes and sits in the trees there. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit going on here really. Can't always guarantee it but <laughs> Oh thanks then. <laughs> Thank you. And the barn owl Okay. So, oh, look. so this is the former lock, and I'm not quite sure the story behind this um, compared to the one at Gelderston, but um, certainly it used to be a functioning lock. You would have the lock gates, and boats could obviously lock through and down. Um, I don't know how deep the river is up here how wide the river is up here but certainly wouldn't it be good if this structure which seems pretty sound had some gates fitted again and you could actually come through in your boat should it be um, able to get under Roxham Bridge and um, able to fit through the lock and carry on on your cruise up the River Bure but um, I don't know, is this where the Broads Authority's jurisdiction ends? And, you know, who knows? I don't know enough. But what I do know is, if you want to go on a woodland walk on the Norfolk Broads, this is a pretty damn good one. It's especially good at night time, when um, it's quite safe because it's wide, you know, um, you're not going to have many trip hazards and stuff. But it's just the way the trees all look, and you're coming through here with the torch, um, it's a bit spooky. So you haven't seen me uh, much today. This is why, looking a bit ragged. <laughs> um, but no, it's interesting. It's when when I'm with Sheila and we're both doing our own things and enjoying stuff and she's putting up at the moment with me doing the filming because I made her breakfast so um, actually this probably I'm gonna go and ask Sheila I'm gonna go and get her opinion I think though the boat is the most basic I think it's probably the best little trip we've had let's see what she says hello so oh hello so quick question yes this this trip we're having. Yes. Are you enjoying it? Yes. I thought so. Thank God for that. Why? Because I was gonna say, although the boat's really basic, <coughs> it feels like we're doing a lot of different things and you know, exploring. And also I'm geared up. <laughs> I'm not in my uncle boots, I've got my trainers on. I can walk for at least maybe a mile. <laughs> <laughs> Just a mile. Anyway. But the, the thing is, all of the places that we're coming to, we can get to in BA. So, um, Dylan, when I went off with Serenade, here. So it's not like we have to have a higher boat because the boat that we have is not able to get under the bridge and it's a treat to come to these places but well, apparently the water is really clear. Clearer than the one down there. Yeah because of the lock. Yeah. Hmm this has reignited my desire. Getting an inflatable kayak. Uh, 
because you don't need to register them with the BBA, the Broads Authority. Yeah. You have like a British Canoe Association membership or something, and then that covers you. And then you can put it in canals and the Broads and so on, and you can get some pretty advanced ones actually. And uh, you just plug in an air pump, pump it up, got your oars and everything. It's sort of two person, three person, I think I'd better go for a three person. I've lost Sheila. But, um, cool, can you imagine that? Get, get, get a couple of action cameras and me and Sheila go kayaking. What? I'm just imagining you and me going kayaking oh. before it sinks with my weight or. <laughs> Stand down and I can go on top of you <laughs> to lift me up <laughs> on your shoulders. Anyway, I just got this really nice. Um, I just thought it was nice. Yeah. Anyway, we can't see it because my camera's shocking at focusing. But don't worry, very pretty. Yeah. So we'll follow this route down to the main road. Yeah. And we will. Um, Come back. Goodbye. So it's our last day today, well, evening. So our destination's going to be somewhere on the River Ant, um, where I'm not too sure, wild mooring probably. So after this, we'll have a cruise around, go back through Roxham, and um, it's been a really nice trip. So you come through here, yes, honey? Huh? You were saying something? I said I just like the way, I don't know if that nature did it or not. I don't think so. No, they're tied yeah. together, yeah. But well, it's nice just to stop people to go. Oh. I'm missing fish, come on. Sheila has an annoying resilience to stinging nettles where she can touch them and she gets a little tingle and then that's it. <laughs> oh, it's the peas. Whoa. Stagnant water. Yeah, I think this is duckweed. Not sure though. Not a planty sort of person. Don't get the BNB tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge house BNB. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, looks very nice, but quite a difference from the peace and tranquility the other side of the lock and then you're into the main sort of road so there's a little Londis Express there there's a petrol station down there over the bridge is the recruiting sergeant at least I hope I've told you the right way So we're going to head back towards the boat, which we can just see all the way over there in the distance. And away from the noise and back to the piece of the broads. Okay, so we're just about to depart here at Coltishaw. But I'm not going to be in the driving seat. <laughs> Sheila, are you nervous? <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling. I need a wee. <laughs> <laughs> so Sheila has always, you know, driven the boats and stuff, but she's never really moored a boat or manoeuvred a boat or anything like this. So here we are. There's no one about. And we're going to see if Sheila can turn the boat round down there. If she can't and it all goes wrong, there's clear instructions on what to do is basically nose into the bank and I'll get on and we'll sort it all out but otherwise if it does go really well then um, yeah this could be something pretty damn special so um, and I can come on holiday by myself 
<laughs> so honey first of all the camera where you're just are at just behind it is a little button to start the recording a little Thank you. Honey. Please, honey. No, it's not fine. I don't I, I even forget everything you just said. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You put it on the left really low. Left? Right? It's all the way to the low. Okay, what way have you got your steering wheel? I think in the middle. Okay, put a, put a bit of tick over on. That's it. That's too much. That's it. This is annoying. This is annoying. This is annoying. I'm just talking to myself. I'm just talking to myself. How good is she? Okay, neutral. That's it. Yep, turn all the way to the left. Right forward. Neutral. Reverse. Turn all the way to the right. Reverse. Neutral. All the way to the left. Forward. Keep forward, left lock forward. Reverse, reverse. All the way to the left, uh, right. Reverse. There you go, 
how you turn them right neutral. Don't listen to me. Watch what's going on. Forward. Okay, neutral. Too much, I need too much. Neutral. I can't hear you. You're doing it too aggressively. You're one of the throttle happy people. Just gentle. Okay? Bit of reverse. Okay. Neutral. Don't look at me. Look at what the boat's doing. You're I'm the one in control. Okay? Bit of forward. A bit of forward. A bit of forward. Yeah? There we go. Great. Now I can step on. Okay. You did fabulously. No, I did not. You did. You did great. I bumped the boat. Okay. Now what we need to do, we put our all the way to the right. Yeah. Bit of forward. That's all we need. That's it. I'm moving. Now you're bringing your ass in now. That's it. You see the boat's coming round? I know, yeah. Because the wind's pushing us onto the bank. Okay. So now, neutral. All the way to the left on the steering wheel. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. And a bit of reverse. That's it. Okay, now forward. Yep, yeah, forward. Hard forward. Hard forward. Ease off. Start turning to the, the right. More right, more right. Honey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Horrible, terrible. <laughs> Perfectly done. Never done that before in your life? No, No. I couldn't hear you. Doesn't matter, you did it. I'm not happy with you. I'm gonna do it again perfectly <laughs> without listening to you. But you see, that is a tight turn in an unfamiliar place. You've never done it before. Okay. So how did it feel? Stressful. Yeah. So I don't know if this is one is reverse or retro or neutral or forward. I'm not sure. Because if you do it like this, you don't know if that's... That's, that. you see, you can hear the change in the engine. Yeah, but it's not neutral, is no, it? No, that is. You, you can hear the change in the engine. Put it in neutral. There. You see? Neutral? Yeah. And then you hear the gearbox clonk and now we reverse. Oh, I'm bumping yep. Left. Don't do the throttle. Okay. That's fine. Only steers when we've got the propeller turning over the, the rudder. <laughs> and this is a bathtub. Sorry about the wind noise on the microphones guys. The door's open. But I think we can all congratulate Sheila for doing a grand job that was completely unplanned and I said this is an idea what we can do, we can just go ahead and do this and she wasn't sure and then she did it. So I think that's great. Even if my instructions were not the best and I'm trying to take pictures as well. <laughs> exactly. So much going on. Oh, I'm not in the car, am I? Why am I going this way? And I've just disturbed the fishes. They're just having the day of their life by ruining the clear water. Does it get any better than this? Cheers from the King's Arms 
it's not King James, is it? King's Head. Cheers from the King's Head here in Wroxham. Um, we just moored up just by the external moorings and we stopped off here. Um, and we're just considering our options for later. Unfortunately, the lack of frying pan on the boat is, means that my idea of cooking on board tonight will be somewhat messed up. So I can either make do or and be annoyed if I make do and think, oh, this could be so much better. Or um, we're going to eat out, so I've decided we're going to eat out somewhere. But we don't know exactly where. And um, so after Sheila had successfully moored the boat, or turned the boat, and picked me up at Colty's Shawl, um, I was going to get her to do a stern mooring between another higher boat and Broad Ambition. But I actually did it myself. <laughs> With my stern lady. She's been more of a stone lady this time than a bow lady. Yeah. Because I think it's different boats you can do Change different things title. with. your title. Yeah, that's right. So, um, well, we're having a nice time. It's a nice day. And um, I could stay here all day, I think, and just fall asleep in the sun. <laughs> but the thing is, you have to go close to the boat yard. Yes, yeah, so if we don't, if we, whatever we pretty much do today, it means that in the morning we've got a nice, very early start to get the boat back to Richardson's. But um, it might not be back at 9 o'clock. Let's pause for the wind. So it might be back sort of 9.30, but. Um, <laughs> It actually says in the skipper manual between 9 and 9.30 so I don't think they'll be too upset. And then it will be back to London and goodbye for here for a few weeks. We'll be returning on Broad Ambition for the spring meet of the MBN where she will be the bow lady. Yes. I'm signing off as a stern lady and I'm <laughs> signing up as, <laughs> as a bow lady this time. Well, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, well, um, are you? I am, yeah. Let me... I've not even been on Broad Ambition to look at the new carpets that um, Alan of Teak Carpet um, did. And I've got to do a video of those. I should really do a video of those. I did send him to do a video of those. Yeah, but you haven't been on. I haven't been on. Alan, I haven't been on. <laughs> getting too much so more as it happens. So we're just lining up for the passage through Upton Bridge and as you can see I'm not at the helm. Thank you. 
So here's Sheila going past a, a sailing boat. I was hoping it would, you know, do a bit more. But what we've got to watch out for is that day boat. Yeah. Now is he going in the broad? He is. Keep maintain your revs. You're all right. Now the yacht's going to tack back across. Don't reduce anything. No, no. All right. Just going to the um, right. Okay, it's just the engine tone change, that's all. I think it's all And it was here, just on this mooring, um, that we moored BA on Christmas evening after our Christmas Day lunch in the Swan. So that is the Beautiful South House Broad. A bit busy. I can't believe we're going to be there in more than two weeks' time. Mm, 19 days. Is it 19 days? Yeah. In less than three weeks. Yeah. Two more weekends and the third one will be there. That's right. <laughs> I'll be doing my. You're going to be doing your barbecuing and rice. Come on. Can I do my harvester salad? Yeah. With fresh lettuce? Yeah. Oh. Well, you can be in charge of all of that. And um, sweet corn, pineapple. What else? Thousand Island sauce. Rice. And crotons and all that crispy onions and crispy bacon. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's giving me a watery mouth now. I wish there's a harvester here or even like a tofu or something. Oh, Sunday rolls. <laughs> what do you think? There's a canoe. So, for those of you that know, we're on the River Bure. We're just past our house. Our next sort of known landmark will be Horning. We'll be passing through Horning and past Ramworth, past St Bennett's, all the way down to Acol. So when isn't it windy when I want to record? But here we are, we're at the Bridge Inn moorings and as you can see there's just a few other boats here. We're at the end which is nice, further away from the road bridge and the noise of the traffic. So we're looking forward to a nice evening here and a good meal. It does mean that leaving here will have to be done rather early in the morning uh, to get back to Stalham. So what do you do? You know, by the time we'd sort of made our decision, if we'd not come here, um, we end up staying in the boatyard, walking into Stalham to the Swan, or do you go for Sutton Stade and find it's full up? So really, we decided to come here and we made our choice and that's what's happened. So it's a lovely uh, little mooring here, good firm concrete, tide's going out so I've left plenty of slack in the ropes, maybe a little bit too much on the bow. But um, it's been a very nice day bit cloudy now but um, we've enjoyed ourselves and we've had a really good mixture of things from Coltishaw and the locks stop off at Roxham through Horning all the way here so really fitted quite a lot in a short space of time just looking here at Fair Chancellor that uh, Faircraft Loins has from Roxham nice little idea there to hook the Rondankers on a hook at the back of the boat. Very well kept those boats though, always gleaming. But when we reach the end of our destination on the last day of our holiday it means but one thing, the end of another blog, a surprise blog and one that was very different to Serenade when I was alone but nonetheless one that I've enjoyed experiencing from the holiday point of view and I hope that it hasn't been too bad to watch from your point of view. So Sheila at the moment is 
in the galley just washing up and um, I've done most of my packing so I'm going to put the rest of the bits away and then um, I may well very well do a boat review of this budget boat that's actually really quite comfortable but as ever if you have been thanks for watching and until next time more as it happens